Well, sticking with IT mate and the growing danger for pedestrians and bikers on the road. According to one pedestrian advocacy group's number, roughly two people are hit by cars daily. Now they want to know what candidates for city government are going to do about it. IT mate's Cody Fisher has this story. The Indy Pedestrian Bicyclist Safety Crisis Group is the one who is asking candidates what they would do to improve pedestrian safety for both people in sidewalks and in bike lanes. Aaron Short is a bike mechanic who fixes bikes after people get in accidents with cars. At least every two weeks, we see at least one. Short says in 18 years of fixing bikes, he's seen a wide range of injuries. I'm seeing it as bad as death to casts, broken bones, broken bikes. The problem isn't just bikes. Data compiled by Indy Pedestrian Bicyclist Safety Crisis shows pedestrians and bikes were hit 453 times in 2022, 43 of them deadly. So far in 2023, there have been 68 with five deaths. When Short sees those numbers, he thinks about a way to try to make it better. That's one reason the pedestrian advocacy group sent questionnaires to every candidate running for city office to see what they would do to improve safety. Mayor Joe Hogsett's campaign said in a statement, Mayor Joe shares their concerns and is committed to addressing the alarming trend of increased incidents and deaths. We do plan on responding to the questionnaire. Democratic mayoral candidate Robin Shackelford said in a statement, I will be unveiling a bold new plan in the coming weeks to install miles of badly needed public sidewalks across Indianapolis and adopting a citywide safe sidewalks plan. She also said she'll have a plan to better protect cyclists. Republican mayoral candidate Abdul Hakim Shabazz said in a statement, part of my plan includes working with the legislature to dedicate a penny from either the sales tax on gasoline or gas tax to improve streets and sidewalks. Short tells me he has ideas of his own that he says would improve both pedestrian and biker safety on the roads. I think sidewalks would be huge. Um, again, stop signs at all those mown on crossings because a lot of times people just blow right through them. Short says he and other pedestrians will care how candidates respond to this questionnaire. I think it's huge, especially with working with it. You know, I hate seeing people get hurt and then them lose their bike or a hit and run you know it's like i uh, i would i would care greatly about it to make sure people are getting taken care of the indy pedestrian bicyclist safety crisis group is compiling all of the answers from candidates to the questionnaires that they sent them so that people in the community can read those and decide whether or not they want to vote for them reporting in near north cody fisher wish tv i'd see maine